Okay, this is your ISR uh, 4451X unboxing. So the uh, 4451X is part of the uh, 4400 series ISR routers. Um, what's interesting about them is that they uh, have a multi-core CPU architecture and uh, they run Cisco IOS XE. Uh, where iOS runs as a daemon uh, as part of a um, multi-threaded operating system as opposed to a uh, single-threaded operating system like iOS so that it can potentially take advantage of the additional cores. So here we have uh, our power cable and our, uh, let's take a look at those mountain uh, brackets. Those are the ones in that bag right there. Let's just see what they come give us for ears. Okay, grounding lug and mounting brackets. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this uh, the the box is uh, licensed unlocked up to concurrent services of two gigabits per second. I believe it starts at one gigabit per second um, without the enhanced license. Um, <clears throat> back flame enables bandwidth, high bandwidth module to module communication 10 gigabits per second. Um, interesting here, it says that uh, the data sheet says it has an emulated quantum flow processor, uh, which I believe would be the processor that's in the uh, ASR series of routers. However, this is emulated. Um, and it says it delivers application-specific integrated circuit, uh, aka ASIC-like performance. Uh, it does not degrade the services are added. Um, basically, that means the applications, uh, the instructions run as if they were uh, hardware. Uh, another interesting thing is it has uh, enables PoE on two of the four um, Ethernet ports that are included. You want to push the box down and put it on the table. There's the little fat all fall apart. Okay, I'll do it. So this router looks a little different than the uh, G2 routers. Um, we've got a nice LED display, status display. Looks like, uh, oh, this looks like a blanking so this is a uh, This is a PSU blanking panel. And over here we have a PSU, as you can see. Looks like we can pull this guy out. So this router only shipped with a single PSU. This is actually for disaster recovery, so it's uh, not spec'd out that way. All right, so on the rear we have um, Managed interface, that's typically in a dedicated VRF. We've got a couple USB ports, aux port, console port with a, what, micro USB it looks like. Um, we've got our two PoE Ethernet ports uh, ganged together with two SFPs. You can typically use the left or the right port, SFP or uh, thousand base T, not both. Um, and the ones on the right do not indicate uh, PoE. All right, so then we've got uh, some additional modules, um, bays. So these guys are referred to as uh, enhanced services module, network interface module, and integrated service card ISC. So ISC, oh, those are on the motherboard. Okay, those are your PDDMs uh, for your digital signal processing. Flash memory, so that supports up to 32 gigs. DRAM, default DRAM uh, is two gigs, upgradable to 16 gigs. Okay, and you can also use like a UCS E-Series um, service module in there if you want to enable some compute uh, in your router platform. Okay, um, you want to go ahead and uh, power this guy up and see what it sounds like. I think we're on the front side there with your power on the Pretty 
quiet so far. I'll check out the L watch the LEDs. That's a good point. There it goes. PSU 0, PSU 1 is dark, DB, flash memory green access, temperature OK, power OK, status LED is actually uh, amber, and uh, fan is green, ISC is green as well. So it's got a little bit of that uh, jet engine effect, but uh, overall it's, it's it's pretty quiet even on boot up. We'll give it a minute here and see if it uh, wants to stop doing flash like that. Let's see if it quiets down at all. So we're going to put a little bit of better light on it. Let's power it down and see if we can uh, pop the top on this thing. Want to, uh, did you switch? <laughs> no, it doesn't shut off right away. That's interesting. You want to pull that power and then see if we can take a look inside? Hopefully we'll get these three screws removed. I think there's just the three up here. I don't see any other ones. There's also some lower end uh, 4400 series routers that came out after this one. This one I believe was the first uh, customer shipping one. Does it slide out towards me? Does the whole thing slide this way? Ah, okay. Very good. So it looks like we got a couple of, uh, couple of CPUs here. We've got uh, what looks to be our, we've got our, we've got our uh, dims, obviously. We've got our uh, bays that correspond to the uh, rear bays. And yeah, let's see what else is of interest here. Oh, here's our ISC plug-in where you would, uh, where you would add your uh, DSPs, your PVDM fours, or maybe it looks like. Oh, oh, you know what? It looks like it's a. Looks like a daughter module. It's got three mounting points, so it's going to be a, a full module that sits on there. And I guess you have another type of module here. It looks like a same layout, but different connector. Okay, well, that's your ISR 4451X uh, unboxing. Thanks.